In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the default icon in the DV toggle module. Hello, my name is Anya and my goal here is to help you build awesome websites. And what I think makes a website awesome are those micro interactions, the tiny details. So in this video, I would like to show you how to change the icon in the DV toggle module from the default plus icon to animated arrow. Here I have a sample page with two toggle modules, an accordion module. As you can see, uh, they use the same icon. I made it bigger so we can see it better. Uh, the difference is that when you open a toggle, the icon changes to uh, minus. And here, because uh, one is always open, you don't, uh, you're not able to close it. So there's no minus icon in the accordions, but with toggles, they have different icons when they are open. So let's uh, inspect these elements. Okay, so as you can see, let me close that. This is the B4 pseudo element for the uh, H5 heading with the class ETPB toggle title. Actually, let me close that so it has the same icon. And it is actually the same here for the accordion. And down below, we can see that this element uses the um, font because it's an icon font, the font ET modules. This is an icon font made by Elegant Themes and it's loaded in DV by default for all these different elements. And all we need to do is change the choose a different icon and change the content uh, property for for this icon. So what I do, I always uh, refer back to the one um, article on Elegant Teams blog. It's uh, quite old. <laughs> it has a few, year, few years now, but it's, it lists all the icons available inside that icon font. And if I uh, scroll down below, you can see our plus icon uses the this value E050 and the first three symbols are actually a backslash. So back here, the content is backslash E050 and here the first three symbols are a backslash and then E050. So to change that icon, all we need is choose a different icon code uh, for our content property from the list here. So I like this one, the simplest uh, little triangle icon. And as you can see, it had the first three symbols is our backslash and then all I need is uh, 33. So back here, if I change that to backslash 33, you see, just like that, all uh, elements, both in the toggles and in accordions, now uh, have a different icon. So let me copy that. I will put that in my uh, style sheet for, for that demo page. And if I save that and refresh my page, Now all elements use the, this icon in, uh, except for the toggle when it's open. So as you can see, the ETPB toggle open, that's the class that this element gets when you click on it. It has different content. So here I could use the same, uh, uh, the same value, sorry. and rotate it, uh, transform, rotate uh, 180 degrees like that. That's lovely, but one more thing. So let's copy that. 
one more thing we need is a transition so this is fine let's actually clean this up a bit here if we add transition so first is uh, property all transition duration and timing function let's save that and now back here let's close that you see let's try with a different uh, icon maybe um, this one so backslash 40 uh, 43 back here 43 instead of 33 lovely so as you can see it's very easy um, if you would like this to apply only to one specific toggle you could add a CSS class to that module and then in the CSS uh, add that uh, class before that uh, as a parent a container for that title and if you are using our DV toolbox plugin, then all you need to do is simply enable that option in the plugin settings. You don't need to add any custom CSS. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to copy all the CSS I used from my blog post linked below. And I'll see you next time.